All right, we got you a great video coming from Rock House Gun and Pong. Y'all stay tuned. Like I said in the pre-intro, we are at Rock House Gun and Palm. That's at 5430 Highway 19 North in Meridian, Mississippi, 39307. And the phone number is 601-485-5895. They are a fully licensed FFL following all federal, state, and local laws. I'm not selling any firearms in this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what they have. I do not work for them. I just want to clear that up. I don't work for uh, our I'm not employed or work for Rock House Gun and Pawn in any way. Um, let's see, what else I want to say? Thank you to all the previous viewers and subscribers for coming back. All new viewers, remember, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell for notifications because you don't want to miss anything that happens here on R4 Mississippi Thunder. So, let's get into the video. All right, we got an awesome video coming for you today. It says a brand new, just released. Actually, just got here to this store yesterday. This is the Smith & Wesson Response. Now, they came out a little while back with the uh, FPC, the folding uh, pistol caliber carbine, but this is their full-on pistol caliber carbine. The Response Series, Smith & Wesson Response, 9 millimeter. And um, it comes with the M&P and the G1719 Flex Mag kits, and I will get to that in a moment. All right, starting up top. Well, anyway, first of all, it's nothing in the magwell, nothing in the chamber. Okay. All right, starting from the top going down, we have a full Picatinny rail all the way across from the handguard into the receiver. Uh, the handguard is polymer and it has M-lock slots everywhere but the top where you have the Picatinny rail. Now the upper receiver and the lower receiver are both polymer as well. Uh, it has the adjustable stock on it. It's Magpul stock. It has about four positions from what I can tell, but it is a Magpul butt stock adjustable. And it's got the uh, cute one QD mount here on that on, you know, both sides there. Okay, now we come on down into the barrel. Now the barrel, it's not polymer, of course. It is chromoly steel finished in black oxide. It is 16 and a half inches with a one in 10 twist. And it is threaded half by 28 on the end with your thread protector there as you can see your thread protector there okay this runs on a straight blowback system as far as the recoil system goes uh, we have a flat face trigger which is nice and the uh, hand or the grip here is actually the m p 2.0 style grip now this does come with your interchangeable palm swells here. As you can see there, you can interchange those palm swells. And if you don't know how Smith & Wesson does with those palm swells is you just have to take that little key out and you change it out and you stick it back in either way and turn it 90 degrees and it locks in. Now it ships with the medium palm, palm well uh, installed. It comes with three additional ones, a small, medium large what they call it medium large and then the large and this is just the medium medium here installed on there now it has familiar controls with your other modern sporting rifles as it has the thumb safety safe and fire there it is non ambidextrous as you can see there you have a charging handle just as other modern sporting rifles and on this side, 
you have your bolt catch release there. So pretty, you know, uh, familiar as far as your modern sporting rifle goes. Now, as far as, since we're already talking about the modern sporting rifles, uh, it, does, uh, it is interchangeable. You can uh, change out your charging handle with other modern sporting rifle charging handles. The stocks are compatible. The grip is compatible. You can take that MP grip off and put any kind of modern sporting rifle grip you want to on there. And your trigger groups. You can change out the trigger if you prefer with, you know, just any other mil spec standard type uh, modern sporting rifle trigger group. Um, let's see, what else I want to mention? Okay, the main feature of this is what they call the Flex Mag System. Now, the magazine wells are interchangeable and lets you use a variety of magazines from Smith & Wesson and other manufacturers. Now, this is the Smith & Wesson mag well. This whole piece interchanges here. And they all come with the Smith & Wesson installed and they come with a Glock uh, G1719 extra mag well as well, but you have to take it down and actually take an Allen screw out, I do believe, and take that out. So I can't show you that right now, but it is installed with the Smith and, Smith and Wesson. And like I said, it does come in the box, has a G1719 as well. Now it comes with a 23 or two 23 round magazines. And also, I believe that there, I did not see it on Smith and, we Smith and Wesson's website, but I believe as far as the Flex Mag system, I think they either do or they're going to have other Flex Mag adapters you can buy to match your other systems. You know, I don't know, not, don't quote me on this, but I imagine at some point they might even have a SIG magazine group or something like that but that's just me thinking because that's what they keep they keep uh everything i read kept kind of leaning toward that not not necessarily sig but other firearm companies besides uh, smith and wesson and glock now if you are in the smith and wesson uh platform this will accept your double stack smith and wesson magazines uh, the 15 round and the 10 rounds, double stack Smith & Wesson, like M&P 2.0 style magazines. Now, like I said, this is 23 rounds. It comes with two of those. Okay. Uh, the butt stock here. Let me see where I have that. It will collapse down. Your overall length collapses down to 32 and an eighth and all the way out to 35 and 3 eighths. You have a width overall, probably at the charging handle, your widest point there of two and three quarter inches. Like I said, the overall length we already mentioned, you have a height of eight inches and a weight of 94.4 ounces. Now with it being all polymer, it is pretty lightweight. I wish I could, uh, you know, kind of, uh, reiterate that to you or show you that but it is a pretty lightweight firearm now we'll go ahead since we've talked about everything we'll go ahead and um, make sure this is clear up one more time you can see there is nothing in the chamber nothing in the mag well we're going to put it on fire aim it in a safe direction and i'm going to go ahead and drop the bolt home and I'm gonna show you that trigger pull. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, well, wasn't ready for that. Here we go, let's see. Let's try to do that a little easier, okay. Not much take up. It does have a crisp break. I mean, it's not very much take up at all, and you are there. Let's see, if, what about the reset here? Okay, nice audible reset. We'll do that again, like I said, not much take up at all. Brakes right there, about 90 degrees. We'll do that again and let you hear that reset. So that is a nice little firearm from Smith & Wesson. Um, you can see the magazine well here. On it. it does have a flare to it there so you can load those magazines in easily and get them in you know, from many different directions there. Okay, 
hope you enjoyed this little uh, tabletop review here from Rock House Gun and Pawn. And this is the Smith & Wesson response series. And they call it a series, and they've called them series before, but if this is a 9mm, I don't know if they're going to come out with any other calibers or if any other calibers are in the works. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video from Mississippi Thunder. I want you to come back and see us. Remember, for I have learned to be content in every circumstance. That comes from Philippians 4.11 in the good book. And God bless you, and God bless America.